show you. We're not going to do them all today. We'll be here forever if we do. I'm, trying, I'm hoping to put this like in three videos. I'm trying not to go so long so you don't get bored because I know it can get boring. Quick. All right, so first of all, let's just jump right in. These all came from eBay, unless I tell you otherwise. You can click on the, um, down in the description box, there are links to Peggy Buy and AliExpress where you can most likely find these paintings. Can't guarantee it, but like I said, um, they are, I personally got these from eBay and the chances of going on eBay and finding these same paintings is really slim because a lot of times they only list the one, which I don't understand. But um, there are some sellers that will have multiples of some, but very seldom do you find them again. So I apologize for that, but again, like I said, I put the links there so you don't have to go searching. Um, you can also check, you know, the FG Normal and Everyday E Deals and Amazon, of course. Um, but yeah, those there are so many different places now that you can get them from. So I just like showing you how the canvas actually looks because sometimes they don't show you. Well, nine times out of ten, eight times out of ten. You'll have no clue what the actual canvas looks like. So that's why I do these videos because I wished there was someone that did this when I was first starting because I would have learned a lot quicker when to buy and when to let it go. Let it go. Nope, better not seeing that. I don't want to get copyrighted. All right, so this adorable butterfly is a 30 by 30. As you can see, it is a full drill. The entire background is white. And it's actually a really cute butterfly. So they have sent me these awesome zip top bags individually marked. And you can see the colors perfectly right there. So we have pink, purple, beige, black, there is a kind of a chocolatey brown color, two shades of blue, this is a burgundy color, two, three more shades of blue it looks like, and then two purples with a gray, and then a brown, and then all the white for the background. I wish they all came packaged like this. This is the best because all you gotta do is open it up and start working. Fabulous. Who said that? Oh, hey, I found a card. I um, was telling y'all that I had been slacking on making the cards for my canvases. I actually have a couple of them here. Surprisingly. Actually, upside down. All right, next is one that I would really love to have in a 40 by 50. But this really looks surprisingly great, given it's only a 30 by 40 and the amount of detail that is in this. You can tell the individual pieces and you can tell, you know, what everything is. There's no guessing. It's really pretty and from a distance, it looks awesome. So I'm really, really happy with this and I love the color of the blue in the background. I really hope the drills are that same color of turquoise. Uh, it's really nice. And we have a cute little bird perched on one of the mason jars. And the jars are full of adorable daisies and different kinds of wildflowers. There's some purple ones back here, which I can't remember what the name of them are, but I love this. So pretty. Lavender, maybe? That might be lavender. I'm not positive. It's so pretty, so happy with that. So this is 20 colors. There are no DMC codes on, these can uh, on this canvas. So let's grab the drills and see. Ooh, that's even brighter. Oh, did you see that float down? Cat hair. That's actually the end of my lungs. The lining of my lungs is probably fur-coated. The amount of cat hair I inhale. 
in my entire life. All right, look at this gorgeous yellow. This is beautiful, beautiful. I love it, it's so pretty. And we have a gray, burgundy, bubblegum. Look at that beautiful turquoise color. That is so pretty, so pretty, so pretty. Two shades of brown. We have two shades of beige. Two shades of kind of a taupe, kind of brown color. Two shades of teal, or turquoise and teal. Turquoise and blue. I don't know. They're kind of, it's kind of icky. Then we have these two kind of orange, rusty kind of colors. Two shades of gray. <gasps> Not 50. Black, gray, pink. So, I guess this is the main background color. No, where does this color go? Okay, so this is the, yeah, it is in the gray. Yeah, the background. So there's that and this, these don't really match. These are the two colors that will go in the background the majority of. I'm a little concerned by that. To trust the process. All right, still pretty. Just might look a little weird with those colors. They're just so different, I, surprising. They're usually not that far off. Hopefully it will work out and look nice. I love that bright yellow. I almost wish there was more of that yellow. It's really pretty. Okay. Next is one of the chalkboard style paintings. You are my sunshine. And this one again, I was a little concerned with because it should be bigger but you actually can read it, so I think it will work out all right. I love sunflowers, so this is extra special. And you can see the DMC codes are on the canvas. And we have 14 colors. And it came like this with the inventory sheet and the horrible gold printed numbers. But we are not gonna go through this because you can see how much black, of course, since it's a um, chalkboard. <laughs> My brain kind of paused there for a minute. Chalkboard, so there's some yellow, some green, some purple, lots of black, lots of black. Um, and gray, of course, but I like that it comes with the inventory sheet. That is a little bit of a plus. It just makes it feel a little bit more fancy. I don't know if that's really true or not, but hey, why not? All right, this next one is the same type of deal. Came from the same seller. Inventory sheet listed. You can see the thumbnail there. My least favorite packaging with the gold numbers, which I refuse to handle more than I have to. So I will not open this until I am ready to pit this painting just to avoid rubbing the letters off. You can see the colors are there and they are very accurate. <clears throat> Excuse me. Very accurate as far as what you will see on the canvas. So here is the canvas. We have daisies, a sunflower, and a bunch of ladybugs. And I am a ladybug fan as well as a daisy and sunflower fan. So three of my favorite things are in this painting. I really, really like it. Super cute. It is a 30 by 40. Um, 40 by 50 would have been better, but this is going to work out all right. And you can see on this corner, we have the DMC codes on the canvas. 
And up in this corner, we only have the 1 through 20, nope, 19, 1 through 19, and the canvas code. So that's kind of cool. So what I have started doing when I kit paintings like this, <clears throat> if I have two codes on the canvas, even if there's only one, it really wouldn't matter, but I will take and cut the key off the canvas. I prefer it to have the um, DMC code listed. Then I will cut apart each of these little rows. So I'll have the DMC code and the code for the canvas in one little strip. And I will adhere that to the top of my little um, square containers. That way I don't have to write on each container I can just slap that right on top of the container and then when I'm done with that, this painting, I can put away my extra drills according to the DMC numbers that are on each container and then I can just peel this off and discard it. So much quicker, so much easier. I don't have, because I was, when I, um, before I decided on this type of indexing, I would write like 1 through 19 on my containers. And if it had a DMC code, then I would write the DMC code using a Sharpie. And then when I was done with that painting, after I categorized, or not categorized, after I combined the leftover drills into my drill storage, then I would take a, a wipe with alcohol on it and clean off all my containers and start all over again. So it was very labor intensive. So, um, Someone put a little bug in my ear about using the key from the painting as far as in, um, indexing goes. So that is what I do from now on. Since then, what I have done since then, ooh, good grief. <clears throat> and it works out so much better, so much better. So much faster and cleaner looking. I just, I really am tickled with how it works. It's really cool. This my poster. This next one I love. It kind of reminds me of her back there, but just a goofy version. Isn't she fun? She's so fun. So fun. I love it. I have a couple others like this. One has this same color background and the other has a red background. So they will go together. And I I think they're all three. Sorry, that was my dryer. I think they're all three 30 by 30, but I can't remember. I've had them for a long time. So this is the canvas. We have 19 colors and the DMC codes are on the canvas on both sides. This is a very stiff canvas. As you can see, I'm barely holding it up and it stands up on its own. She's just so cute. I love her. She's got her little tongue sticking out. So funny. Okay, J955. Here we are. Lots of colors on this one. 19 on a 30 by 30, which I think is really great. Okay. So we have red, purple, and like a minty green color. Bright red, which is my favorite, 666. Peach and navy. We have another blue, a little bit brighter blue. Coral and bright green. Another navy. Peach and turquoise, blue, pink, and sunflowery, orangey, yellow, purple, and then we have the blue, and then the turquoise, which will be the main background color. These are the same color in this, these two bags. And then we have white. So lots of color variation there. 
This will be a very fun painting to do. Super cute. Lots of fun. Okay, we'll do one more. Which is one, I feel like I've had this one forever. But I think this is another one, I don't remember exactly how many times, but I know I bought it more than once. And this is the only one that I have ended up getting. And I'm disappointed because she is a partial. But on the other side, since this is just a 30 by 30, with it being a partial, it's more detailed. So only the kitty, and it is her full body that you do, well, not full body, but you do all of her, not you don't leave her eyes out like some of the partials are. So she's super cute. She cracks me up. It makes me laugh. So funny. So you can see we have no DMC codes on the canvas, and there is only one key on this one. And let's see, 807 should be this one. Yes. So this one, we will we'll skip the drills on this one. Well, yeah, we will, because it's pretty clear. It's very true to color. She has yellow ochre for the eyes and pink in her ears, black and gray for her body. Isn't she funny? She just looks, she looks so scared. So cute. Let's see that. All right, we'll do one more. Since I didn't go through the drills on that, we'll do one more. Okay, this one is a winter, beautiful winter scene with our birdie friends on the holly berry bush, getting a little snack in the snow with a beautiful scene in the background. I don't know if it's church or houses. It kind of looks like a church because this might be the steeple. I don't know. Does it really matter what it is? It's just the birdies are so pretty. Super, super pretty. So this is a 30 by 40, no DMC codes on the canvas. This is a very, um, makes me think elementary, the way they do the numbers on this. Uh, it's very simple. You don't, you have numbers and letters instead of symbols. So it's a lot easier to do these um, because you don't have to like really study, okay, is that an ampersand? Is that an eight? It just makes it a little bit easier. Okay, and the drills for that one are here. This is my PJ packaging, so no DMC codes whatsoever for these. It's disappointing, but hey, you can them all. So we have black, red, and blue. Three shades of orange. Getting a little bit more into yellow with that one. We have three shades of blue. Four shades of green. Blue and white. And then the last three are shades of brown. Not a whole lot. Not bad, considering. I love that there are four different greens. These leaves are really going to be dimensional. I love it. And then the blues for the background and the shading. Yellow in the bird's chests. Red for the berries and a little tiny bit of black. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right. So I think we will stop there, keep this short and sweet. And I will see you again very soon, I hope. And remember that if you are interested in these paintings, you can check the in the link below. You can head over to AliExpress or Peggy Buy, and you should be able to search. Um, just put in like a few keywords and you know, birds in the snow, that kind of thing. 
and you should be able to find, if not all of them, most of them. Um, so, because since they came from eBay, I can't promise that they will still be on eBay, but you can always look there too.